Good morning, or good afternoon, or happy middle of the night, or whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome to the Summer 2021 Online Elementary Statistics class here at Lincoln College. Glad you're in the class. Hope it's a good experience for you. I am Steve Stowers. I'm teaching the class. I've been teaching here at Lincoln College for the past six years, mostly in the classroom in the traditional format, but also online. I taught this class online last semester, or last summer, I mean. So in this video, let me kind of introduce the class and give you an idea of what to expect and how things are going to work. Now, this is an online asynchronous class. The online part means that we won't be meeting in person. All of the course content will be accessed online. You'll be doing all your assignments online. The asynchronous portion means that we won't be meeting together in real time, either in person or online. There won't be specific times that you have to be logged in at that particular time to participate. Instead, it'll kind of be up to you to set your own schedule. You might find it a good idea to pick a specific time where you're going online at that same time each day just to, to help you stay on top of things. Now, if you were taking this class in the traditional in-person format during the fall or spring semester, you'd be spending about three hours each week in the classroom listening to me explain statistics and and working through examples and taking tests and things like that. And then in between those class periods, you'd be spending a significant amount of time doing homework and studying and working on the project and that sort of thing. So you should expect to put in a similar amount of time in this online class. Instead of coming to the classroom to listen to me talk about statistics, you'll be watching videos where I explain things in, in much the same way that I would explain them in person if we were in class together. You won't get a chance to interact with me in real time, but if there's anything that you have questions about or want some clarification on, certainly you can message me, you can ask me questions, I'll respond, I might even record more videos or set up a, a, a team session to help you if, if that's necessary. But for the 12 weeks that this class lasts, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will have the course materials up, the videos I want you to watch, assignments you need to complete, things like that. They'll be posted on Canvas by noon. And then at whatever time you access them, you'll, you'll do what I have you do. You'll watch the videos. You'll do the homework assignments. And you'll always have it at least two days to complete any assignment between the time that I put it up and the time it's due. So if you, you pick a time every day and, and log in that same time each day, since we are going to be doing everything on Canvas, let me show you how I have things set up on Canvas. If you go to the main page for the class, it looks like this. You can find the syllabus, and I'll be pointing out a couple things on that in a minute here. Um, I'll have links to all the videos that I want you to watch and any assignments that you need to complete. And the first assignment is this introductory survey that I want you to fill out so that I know that you're all set working with Canvas, that you can use the Canvas quiz feature because that's what it, we're going to be using to do the homework and the tests and so forth. And then everything we cover, I'll be putting up notes and videos and any other supplemental links or information. So I'll, I'll post one module each week with the information that you need to be working through. Now for this course, you are required to have a computer with internet access, and it should have Microsoft Office installed, especially Excel. So if, if you don't have that already on your computer, there's 
instructions for how to get that. As a Lincoln College student, you should be able to, to get that at no charge. So I posted the, the instructions from the IT department on how to download the, the Microsoft Office suite here on Canvas. I've put up a discussion board that you can ignore if you want, but if you want to interact with your fellow students or uh, ask questions that you think other people might be interested in the answers to or any kind of interaction like that, if you want to use that discussion board to, to interact with your fellow students or with me, you can. You will need some sort of a calculator. A, a physical calculator is best, but it's also possible to get like calculator apps for your phone. And so I put up a page on Canvas explaining some of the options that are available. Uh, you'll probably want to be able to use the camera on your phone to, once in a while, you might need to, to work out some work on paper and show me your work by submitting a, a, a picture or scan of what you did on paper. So here's a page that explains a little bit about how to do that using your phone camera. You're not required to have a printer for this class, but if you do have one, you might find that it comes in handy to be able to, to print out some of the notes or things that I've, I've posted for you instead of just reading them online. In fact, you might find it helpful to print out the notes for each chapter or each section and have those handy in front of you to help you follow along with the videos. As I explain things, you can look at the, the examples that I work through and the, the things that I talk about on those notes. And if you click on syllabus, not the syllabus for the class, but over here on the side where, it, where syllabus is one of the, the things you can choose, it takes you to a, a page where you can access the, the syllabus for the class. And I see I need to change that. But you can also look at the upcoming assignments, what you still have to do and when it's due. And right now the only assignment that's due is the introductory survey. And I think I, I think I'm going to have the assignments typically be due five o'clock. So this first assignment that you have, this introductory survey, is due by five o'clock on Wednesday, which means that if you're seeing this now on, well, I said I'd put it up by noon on Monday, which means sometime between the time I put it up and the time it's due, there's, there's at least two days that you have to access it and work on it. So now let me point out some things that are on the syllabus. So you should expect to spend approximately four hours per week of class time, like doing the kinds of things that you would be doing in the classroom if we were meeting in person. And then in addition to that, you should expect to spend some time outside of class doing homework assignments, study, that sort of thing. How much time you need to spend is kind of going to depend on how fast you work, how much time and effort it requires for you to master the material. Take as much time as you need to learn and understand everything and complete all the assignments. If you need to ask me for help or contact me about anything, you can message me through Canvas or email. On the second page of the syllabus, you can see the list of the, the topics or objectives or things that you're supposed to learn and, and and get from this class. So, for example, you're supposed to, by the end of the class, be able to construct and interpret confidence intervals for population parameters. Now, right now, I don't expect you to know what that even means, but by the end of the class, you should know and you should be able to do that. So, these are all things that you should learn or gain from this class. 
And then hopefully your grade is going to reflect that, how, how much of this you actually do know and understand. But what determines your grade? Well, before I get to that, here's the weekly schedule. Here where I've got things uh, set out, what we'll be doing each of the 12 days or weeks of the, the class. Now, your grade is based on three big categories, homework, the project, and the tests. So homework assignments altogether make up 15% of your class grade. That means each individual homework assignment is not all that big a deal, but put together they make up 15% of your grade. Treat the homework as a learning experience. When you try to do the homework, if you see something you, you are not sure about or you don't know how to do or you don't know what it means, that means go back and look at your textbook or the notes that I've posted on Canvas or the go back and look at the video again to see where I talk about that thing. If you still can't figure out what I'm talking about or what, what it's asking you or how to do that, send me a message. And while you're doing the homework, you're encouraged to use whatever uh, resources might help you learn. Have your calculator available. Have any other technology. Maybe Excel, maybe some online app, uh, pencil and paper, your textbook, your notes. We will be having probably four tests plus a final exam throughout the, the course. And I'll say more about those as the time for the first one gets closer. But that'll make up 70% of your course grade. The tests are designed to measure how, how much you've actually learned and how, how much you understand and can do the kinds of things you're supposed to be able to do. And then the other 15% of your grade is based on a project that we're going to be working on throughout the, the class. And I'll say more about that later. For now, all you need to know is make sure you have Microsoft Office, especially Excel, installed on your computer because we are going to be using that on the project. There is tutoring available for this course. I've been told that the Academic Success Center has uh, tutoring help available. I guess it's called the Academic Support Center. So for help with the course, contact them at asc at lincolncollege.edu or go to their uh, page on Canvas. So for right now, make sure you go on Canvas and take this introductory survey. Just answer the questions that I have for you. you click on that, then click where it says take the survey and work through and answer the questions. And then sometime before noon on Tuesday, I'll have more stuff put up for you to work on and watch. Contact me if you have any questions and have a great semester.